What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance. Um, <clears throat> and you know, normally I would not pay attention to the hate that I've been getting, you know, for the last God knows how long, but this one came in my messages and I took serious, serious offense to what this person said. And I don't just mean a little bit, I mean, I took you know, serious offense to what this person said. Uh, his name is Scott AI or some shit like that. I don't, I don't know, like, what the full name is. I know it's, like, Scott AI or Scott A or some shit like that. <clears throat> but, um, I was saying that I'm promoting, you know, my new song that I just released called semi free as well as promoting you know my new game that i'm going to be working on here in a few weeks called battle academy <clears throat> um, it's a game i started back a couple years ago and then when my computer crashed i was not able to do it so i have to start over on it so i was promoting those two things and i did a live stream you know talking about some of the people that needed to be spoken about that needed to be put in their place <clears throat> because of the super offensive things that they were doing. But there was one comment by this Scott guy that I got in my messages personally. And it, it really, really offended me to the point where I was like, I have to say something. <clears throat> but what this, what this Scott AI or whatever did, whatever his name is, did, um, he messaged me wondering about, you know, being a beta tester for the game. You know, he wanted to be able to test it out, which I was super happy about. I was super excited for that. Um, the game may release on Xbox. I don't know because the creator I go through is doing an update for that. And so I was, I was looking into that stuff. And, you know, I was giving them updates. I was like, yo, like, they're going to be releasing this update for Xbox One. So I'm, my game may be able to release on the Xbox. I don't know. Yeah. But I was doing that and, you know, talking to him. And we got to talking. And he mentioned my custom clothing shop, which if you guys don't know, I do run a custom clothing shop through rageon.com called DK Customs. Um, I do everything from, you know, my own artwork stuff custom orders i even do you know tribute pieces for those that have passed that i've looked up to that a lot of people really enjoyed um and one of those people that i did a tribute for a tribute piece for is you know obviously you guys know you know my musical idol like my musical hero chester bennington shortly after he passed i did a tribute pillow and stuff for those that couldn't afford it because I know there's a lot of people out there that don't have the money to be able to buy the original stuff. So I do what I can, you know, with what I have. I made a couple of tribute pieces using a wallpaper that was given to me because I attended the um, the uh, memorial show via LincolnPark.com. I watched it through that. So I got this really cool wallpaper with it you know, for joining and watching. And this guy basically said, oh, you know, you're just trying to make profit off of, you know, Chester's death. That's not it at all, dude. That is not it at all. You know, Chester's death isn't just profit for me. I made those tribute pieces for those that are like myself that don't have any money. For those that really enjoyed his music that don't have anything. I'm not trying to profit off of nothing. And for you to accuse me of, you know, doing that, that's fucked up on every level. And to sit there and say that I'm doing that to one of my musical idols, like, dude, you're, you're fucked up in the head, man. <laughs> like, for real. But if you guys don't know, I do have a new song out. Uh, I legitimately just released it like two minutes ago. You guys can go there, check it out. 
It's actually a really good one. Um, it's one I know you guys will like. If you guys are in the Lincoln Park, you guys will like my new song that I just dropped. Um, it's called Semi Free. It's it's a Lincoln Park. You know, it's a Lincoln Park and you know inspired track, but it turned out really really good. If y'all want to see it or listen to it, the link is in the description. You guys can go there, check it out, take a listen, and so like that. But as for this guy. You know, as for this guy, guy, man, like, why would you think that I'm trying to make profit off of Chester's death? Like, for real. Like, that is beyond fucked up, man. Like, you know, I made this stuff to sell because I know people like myself who are very, very big Linkin Park fans that couldn't afford the prices that they had on their original site. You know, I know what it's like to not have money. And let me tell you something, man. Chester was, he was my fucking hero. Like, that's the man that got me through every fucking dark time in my fucking life. I grew up listening to him from my early, early beginning years of high school up till he passed away back in, back in 2017. Like, you know, that was my profit off him just because I made some tribute stuff to honor him and that people can go and buy if they would like. That's fucked up. Like, you know, I'm not doing it to make profit. I don't want the money. I want to be able to make things that people can afford. You know, and that's the whole purpose, you know, behind my custom clothing shop is that, you know, I make really good high-end products for a really low cost. Because I know there's a lot of people that want this custom, this custom stuff, and it's just so expensive. So I figured, why not start a shop where people can get that same product, that same thing, but for a lower price and in a better way. Like whether it be some van style Jordans, whether it be, you know, some wrestling, you know, shoes or t-shirt or whatever, whether it be an anime shirt, whether it be a video game character, you know, whether it be a team shirt for a soccer team or a sports team or something. Like, that's why I made it, because I know what it's like to not have anything. I know what it's like to, you know, to, you know, like, you know, the most expensive thing I have that I own right now, like, as far as clothing, would probably be my black suede Nikes that I got when I was 21. I got those for my 21st birthday. Right, that's probably the most expensive clothing that I own, aside from this now faded out, um, what used to be a long sleeve Lincoln Park shirt, but the, as you guys can tell, the logo is kind of fading out around the edges and in the center, so like it's almost gone. Because I've had this thing for years now. But point being, I know what it's like to not have anything. And that's why I started DK Customs. To be able to create nice quality custom clothing. You know, for people that want it at an affordable price. Because, like, you can go out and buy a pair of Jordans for, like, 250 bucks and this and that. But why do that when you can get that same style in a shoe for, like, 80 bucks from me? I mean, seriously, think about it. How many people do you know that walk around... With Jordans, with, you know, skate shoes or high-top skate shoes that have Jordan gear on them. 
like you, you don't see that. Or how many people do you know that walk around with custom made abstract art on their stuff? Like whether it be on a t-shirt, oh, pardon me, whether it be on a t-shirt, bandana, shoes, whatever. You just don't see it. Everything I do is custom made from the ground up. Whether it be a canvas print that you that you want to buy, whether it be a pair of shoes, a sweatshirt, a hoodie, a t-shirt, whatever. You guys can get whatever you fucking want for a really good price. And if you guys don't have the link to it, I will post it in. Here in just a minute. So you guys can go there and check out the shop for yourself. Like I have everything. I have some AJ Styles gear. I have some Ronin Warriors anime gear. I have fucking his and hers type shirts. You know, I've got a little bit of everything. I got... I've got everything in here, dude. I got fucking... I have fucking Pennywise shit up in here, man. Like, I've got everything, dude. Like, just go to the site if you guys want to buy some merch. Or like, I'll post it in the comments right now so you guys can go there and peep it for yourself. Like, if you guys want some good quality merch, man, hit the site up, man. I got everything from fucking. I got AJ Styles, I got Roman Reigns, I've got some custom art gear that I've done, I've got some stuff for my gaming channel Retro Gamer, i got some music gear for my Shadow Blade stuff, I've got a t-shirt that says Baby by Day, Drifter by Night, so if you guys got kids that are into racing, um... I got a bunch of racing shirts. Like I got a bunch of shirts with like racing sayings on them. Um, one that actually says "Blow me," and the "Oh and blow me" is actually a um, a turbo, like a turbo piece for a car. I got. I'm a proud mother, and I'm a proud father of a game. I would game his and her shirts. I've got. Stickers make my car go faster for all my drifters out there. Um, I got this monkey with his middle finger up like that. And it says, yeah, yeah, I know. License and registration. I've got some Black Belt Brides gear for you guys, for all my BB, for all my BBB fans out there. Um, I have some stuff for my gaming team, Extreme Speeds. Um, I got stuff like that. I've got... So I got some custom Bloodshot Records. I got a custom Bloodshot Records hoodie. Um, I have some memorial gear for 9-11. I got some DC comics shit, man. Like, I've got everything up in here. I've got fucking Kingdom Hearts up in here, man. Hell, I even got a fucking Deadpool shirt that says screw is, it says screw keeping calm. It says screw keeping calm. I'm Deadpool, bitch. Like, I even got a fucking Paul Walker shit up in here, man. Like, what more could you guys possibly want? Like, seriously. Like, anything you guys could possibly want, I have up in here. Like, I legit have anything you guys could possibly want in here. I got abstract painting stuff. I got, you know, fractal art. I got Little Mermaid stuff. I got, um, from when I did the whole um, virus album, I got the um, virus logo for that. It says virus spread the infection. Um, I've got everything in my fucking shop up in here, man. Like, what more could you guys want from a shop? Like, seriously. And I do take custom orders, too. So if you guys want a custom order, you know, hit me up. Send me the image that you want, and I'll fucking do it. I'll post that shit up. That way you guys can buy it. And on the holidays, I do also do, like, you know, your discounts and shit as well. 
Like, what more could you guys want, honestly, man? Like, seriously, I have everything up in here, and I do mean everything. Hell, I even got fucking plaid high tops, man. Like, what more could you guys want? Like, seriously. So I say, if you guys do want custom stuff, go check out the shop, man. Click on the link and go check it out. And you guys got a, got a custom order? Hit me up with the custom order. I'll throw it on there. So you guys can go in and purchase the item. Like, you know, people wonder why I win as far as, you know, custom clothing goes. It's because I see what people want. They want high quality stuff for a low price and that's exactly what I deliver. I deliver high quality gear for a real good price. I have great standings not only here with several people in the U.S., but several people over in the United Kingdom as well. So I, I have good standings. My credibility is solid as a fucking rock, man. But, you know, this guy is sitting there accusing me of trying to make profit off of one of my hero's deaths. So, like, that's, that's fucked up on every level. Like, you know, I not only take that professionally bad, but I take that personal. Like, why would I try to make profit off of, you know, one of my hero's deaths? Like, why would I do that? That No, that's, that's not me. And anybody who knows me knows that I'm not like that. So, I mean, for you to sit there and say that shit, like, that's, that's fucked up, dude. Like, you got, you got issues, man. But update on the game that I will be going back in and redoing. Um, that all will be coming sometime, I'd say, probably next week. Um, this weekend, we're going to try to find the laptop, and then it'll cost like a hundred something dollars to have it fixed. But once that is fixed, I will be using it because I will be taking a break away from the music. Once I get that laptop fixed, um, I will be taking a break from the music to download RPG Maker MV so I can start making games again. Um, like I said, I will be looking for beta testers. I've already got two right now. Um, Christopher Friend. And my boy Thomas. Um, I would like eventually to have like two or three more. Maybe four more. So if anybody is interested in testing out the new game. Once I get a full solid demo out. Just let me know. I'll put your guys' name on a list. And then whenever. You know a good solid demo. Or what I feel will be a good demo. Of the game. To release. Is ready. Um, what I will need is I will need your guys' emails so that once I get that, I can just directly send it to you guys. You guys can test it out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know like what kind of bugs need fixed and stuff like that. Um, I also will be doing another game separately. Well, starting over on a game separately that took about six months to do. Um... It was actually called Soul Census. It was actually based off of a book that I had written a while back that somebody had actually wound up stealing and then reselling and stuff like that. But before they did that, I was able to get a couple copies out to a couple friends. Um, I do have the original somewhere around here. I'm trying to find it. I'm not too sure where it's at. Oh, I want to go see if I can find it for you guys. Hold on, so I can show you exactly, you know, what it looks like. So hold on.
Oh, it's so girl, I can't find it. It's put up somewhere, somewhere I thought it was, but, you know, I will be doing game based off of that book as well, separately. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to come on here, guys, you know, and briefly talk about, you know, this very serious, fucked up issue, man. Uh, this is some bullshit. But again, guys, if you guys would like to check out the shop, the link is in the comments. If you guys want to check out the new song, the link is in the description. I'm about to hop off here, chill, maybe play some Apex Legends with my boy Anthony Burns. And I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.